हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्टिव्ह बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट अस टॉक अबाउट व्हॉट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ एंडोमेट्रियल हायपोप्लेझिया अँड हाऊ डज इट इज रेलेव्हंट टू इनफर्टिलिटी सो बेसिकली वेन एव्हर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एंडोमेट्रियम एंडोमेट्रियम और द इनर लायनिंग ऑफ द युट्रस इज द ऍक्च्युअल लेअर वेअर द बेबी इज गोईंग टू स्टे फॉर एंटायर नाईन मंथ्स अँड दॅट इज द ऍक्च्युअल लेअर ऑफ द युट्रस विच नरिशेस द बेबी सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट लेअर ऑफ द युट्रस अँड वेन एव्हर इट ग्रोज एक्सेसिव्हली विदाऊट एनी रिझन दिस एक्सेसिव्हली ग्रोईंग एंडोमेट्रियम इज कॉल्ड ॲज एंडोमेट्रियल हायपोप्लेझिया in infertility patient the commonest cause of endometrial hyperplasia is either a pcod or infection so in pcod patient what happens is there is a reversal of the lh fsh ratio as a result of which there is too much androgens in the serum because of which the endometrium keeps on continuously growing without shedding out which means that the patient may not get her menses by herself in fact i know so many pcod patients who get their periods once in two months three months and the endometrium becomes huge and turgid which is known as endometrial hyperplasia even in infections such as chlamydia vaginitis etc this also might result in quite a bit of endometritis or inflammation of the endometrium thereby resulting endometrium hyperplasia third and a rare cause is the endometrial cancers which does not really pertain to infertility patients so if you are a patient with endometrial hyperplasia your doctor might suggest you to undergo a hysteroscopy with sampling of the endometrium to find out whether which hormone is predominant and you will be treated accordingly so you do not need not worry if there are endometrium is continuously into hyperplasia there are ways and means to get it done a hysteroscopy can be done a very good level of antibiotics or an entire therapy of antibiotics is given and if your lh is very high you might be put into two or three pill cycles after which once your endometrium becomes absolutely normal then your infertility treatment is generally started so this is all about endometrial hyperplasia and infertility thank you